but you know, some of the issues I worked on this year, um, the implementation of Amendment 41, which um, subsequently, as you know, the, the court has ruled that the gift ban, part of that, uh, is not in effect. So one of the challenges for, and that will of course be challenged by the governor and the attorney general. So one of the challenges, I think, for the legislature next year, um, should that uh, injunction remain in effect, will be that the legislature should um, develop their own ethics standards, which I think is important. We're actually the only state in the nation right now that has passed ethic laws in their constitution. Most other states have ethic laws, but they've been done by the legislature. So we're going we're to need to do that. As you know, the voters passed that overwhelmingly. Uh, over 60% of the voters said they, think, they believe there should be some ethics in government. Um, the concern is how, how kind of draconian and actually far that, uh, that constitutional amendment did go in terms of being concerned about you know, scholarships, uh, Nobel Prizes, uh, could those kind of awards actually be received? Um, so we will uh, obviously, I'm guessing, we'll work on that issue next year. Um, I probably won't care about the issue. I spent a lot of time on that this year, but I'll certainly be a part of trying to make that happen. Um, as you know, I carried a bill that was subsequently vetoed by the governor, which was very disappointing to me. And that bill was a bill to ensure some clarity and requirements for how the Department of Revenue administered um, IDs and driver's license to applicants. You've probably read the last two years how difficult it is to get a driver's license or an ID in the state of Colorado. And that has caused a lot of problems. People who move into the state uh, with other uh, states' birth certificates or, or driver's license had a difficult time um, proving that they are legal citizens, and that's uh, proof of residency has been a big problem for the Department of Revenue. Uh, this bill actually required that every document would have proof of residency, legal residency in the United States, but did allow for documents from other states. Um, and also, the Department of Revenue would not accept a passport, which is the most secure document in the world. I mean, I think even George W. Bush uh, thinks the passport is the most, the most secure document in the world. So uh, the bill was vetoed, the department didn't want the bill, and subsequently I think what's going to happen is I understand they're going to promulgate some rules to determine what documents can be used to get an ID. But the, the problem, as far as I'm concerned, is administrative. Um, there's a very, it's very ingrained Republican administrative staff with all the paranoia that goes with that. Everybody's a terrorist or everybody's an illegal immigrant. And so uh, with that staff still in place and um, a new executive director will, will see what happens because they definitely are not serving the public. Um, the other bills I worked on uh, were very successful. We have four new uh, bills in the state of Colorado or four new laws to govern home ownership protection. Uh, we're going to license mortgage brokers. We're not going to allow for deceptive practice. And we're going to address fraud and mortgage lending in the state of Colorado. The laws were passed. The resources were put to the laws uh, to give the Department of Law and the Department of Regulatory Agencies uh, the number of people and the money they need to be sure to enforce this. So all we can do in this body is pass the laws. The enforcement certainly is going to be up to uh, the Attorney General and to the Department of Regulatory Agencies. So I'm going to watch carefully to see how vigorously the Attorney General is going to go after businesses who want to uh, fraud the public. Um, in general, as you know, uh, this was a session was called Green. Uh, a lot of energy bills, I think there were 20. Chris certainly gave a good overview of those. Uh, we continue to work on education. There's um, health care commission that was established in the um, 06 session that should give us information about how to plan on health care uh, next year. We will continue to work on education. Those will be priorities. Uh, I think you probably read in the paper that the has put together an education council by executive order, um, and we yet, have yet to see what's going to, to come out of that for the 07 session. Um, what I did bring as well is just kind of a little cheat for you. If there are these, these 
to the, the, the bills primarily that um, we consider um, our strength from the legislative session and there are numbers here that you can look them up and get more detail if you have a question at all. But I want to give you just a few bullet points of our key accomplishments and then I'll, I'll sit down. Uh, 264,000 seniors will have access to low-cost prescription drugs. As you know, the governor by executive order is going to allow Colorado or the Department of Public Health and Financing to, um, to, to join in purchasing uh, drugs so that they'll be at lower cost. Uh, we have 756,000 uh, students who will benefit from effective assessment on their academic progress. Um, 371,000 uh, citizens should benefit from the fact that we've given the Department of Revenue more money so they will increase the locations by which uh, people can get driver's license. Um, we also added money to the College Opportunity Fund. Uh, we have 140,000 new citizens who qualify for homestead tax exemptions, and uh, 382,000 women will benefit from the uh, new uh, test for cervical cancer. So we think that the Democrats did a lot of good key things. I think everybody was safer because we were there. Um, as you know, 08 is going to be probably a very contentious session. It's also an election year. Um, we have to think carefully about what we do and be very strategic about what we do and um, work toward our goal of keeping a majority in both houses. Colorado certainly is better off because of it. Um, we finally had another agenda besides uh, prayer in school, flags, abortion, and gays. Um, we finally talked about some other things. So, uh, as you know, next year is my last session, so I uh, probably will be here, except well, I mean, I'll come to meetings, but I'll only do one more report post-session, and that will be the end of next year.